Well, the RAF C-17 Globemaster arrived back here at RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire in the middle of this afternoon, carrying eight of the confirmed 27 British victims of the Tunis beach attack last Friday, 38 people killed in all. Now, the coffins were taken off the plane one by one by members of the RAF Queen's Colour Squadron. They were then taken to separate chapels of rest where members of the bereaved families were able to have some private time with their relatives before they were taken in separate hearses to the West London Coroner's Office, which is going to open one inquest for all of these eight victims. Now, the Foreign Office has released names of the eight people who came back here today. There were three members of one family. There was a grandfather, son and grandson. It was uh, Adrian Evans, Charles Evans and Joel Richards, who was just 19. Uh, we also had Carly Lovett, a 24-year-old fashion blogger from Lincolnshire. Stephen Meller, an engineer from Bodmin in Cornwall. Also John Stollery, who was a social worker from Nottinghamshire. Uh, Dennis Thwaites, a former Birmingham City footballer and also his uh, partner, uh, his wife Elaine Thwaites. Now, uh, it was expected here that the hearses might drive past the memorial garden that's been uh, built very close to the base. Now, that didn't happen because some of the families requested that they wanted more privacy. They were kept well away from the media today, and that was the way that they wanted it to be. And uh, so this has been a rather somber day for RAF Bryce Norton, which is used to repatriating uh, members of the military, but these were, of course, civilians. Sarah Lockett, Forces News at RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire.